Hi guys, welcome to my creative year for 2018. I am so glad you decided to join us. If you didn't decide to join us yet and you want to, the link for the Facebook group is in the description below, so check it out. We hope to see you there. That being said, the topic for this month of January is budget. Uh, each week we will be having a different prompt to, for the week within the topic to share with you. Uh, this week, our prompt is coming up next along with the how-to video of what I did. So I hope you enjoy the prompt, the topics, the process. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment in here on YouTube or um, tag me over in a post on Facebook. That's it for right now. Let's get started. Hey guys, how are you today? So we're gonna start off 2018 uh, in my creative year with making studio, studio mascots. And it's just a little sort of a reminder, wall hanging charm, friend, whatever you wanna call it, something fun and whimsical to hang in your studio and to just um, encourage happy thoughts, happy moments, um, happy feelings, happy energy, and that to remind you that it's your happy place. Um, so I literally have this like bin of junk and salvage, everything from empty spools, containers from microwave food, big giant thing of clothes pins. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Old watercolor sets I got like on Etsy for a couple bucks. So I have all kinds of things in here and I actually, I went in here looking to grab something else and I, these things attracted me. I was thinking I was going to maybe grab one of these. I may still, one of these doorknobs and actually I have a bunch of different doorknobs, some of which are from my house. We just got done remodeling. I'm filming this in November, by the way, of 2017 and a few months ago we were remodeling um, parts of our house, um, doing some DIY, and we realized we had the old doorknobs from when the house is still built, 1969, 1970, somewhere in there, and, um, we took them off. I like, I like doorknobs, so, um, you know, it wasn't a stretch for me to take them off. Um, but what I'm also doing while I'm thinking about this mascot is thinking, do I actually have any desktop or tabletop space to put a mascot in my office or would something that hangs on the wall be better so that's kind of what I've been thinking and I'm kind of thinking something that hangs on the wall might be better so then my next question to myself is um, what parts do I want to use so I'm gonna try to figure all those things out and I'll be right back okay I decided to stick with my original thought of the doorknob um, I have a little place I can stick it, so I think I thought I would do that. Now this doorknob is, you know, from the late 60s, early 70s. It's not very heavy, and for what I want to make with it, it really the base of this is going to be the base, and it needs to be heavy and weighted. So I also have these little muslin bags filled with BB shot. Now I used to use these for a lot of things, including when I was still doing arts and craft shows, which I don't do anymore. I used to use these to weight down the lighter items when I would be doing outdoor shows and it was windy and stormy to make sure things didn't blow away and um, they're filled with copper BB shot can you see that so I'm gonna oh I just cut this one open so we're gonna try to get all the BBs into the doorknob hopefully yep and boy did that just weight that down <laughs> So that worked like a charm. All right. So now I need some wire, maybe a few of these charms from my charm drawer. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut a couple pieces of this. so we can get the wire off the table and out of our way. I'm not exactly sure how, mu how much I'm gonna need. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just whacking off a piece. I'm gonna grab my Aileen's Tacky Glue Bottle and I'm going to take 
the shorter, I think the shorter piece, let's see, no, the longer piece. And I'm going to wrap it around the bottle a couple of times, sort of tightly, and then I'm going to twist a few times, and then we're going to slide it off the bottle. And then we're going to cut these so they're the same length, preferably not too horribly long, keeping your fingers there and your eyes averted so you don't poke yourself in the eye. And that's going to sit in there, and what that's going to do is that's going to be able to hold a tag that has my current positive affirmation quote on it. I'll, I'll be able to change them out periodically over the year. This one is going to be to, able to hold whatever else I stick in there. I want to put a fa I want to give it a face and her a face. I do think it's going to be a her. And I have a, some different faces here that I could use for my mascot. This is like a drawer of molded and I've had these this drawer of embellishments. Some of these I've had so long. It is about dang time we use them, I'm telling you. So we can set that aside. Um, so the first thing we want to do is create something we can stick her to. Um, I have a bunch of different things in this drawer that we could use. What is this? Blue Chart Gardens. I was thinking like we could use a flattened bottle cap. I used to make bottle cap jewelry. And I thought that would be good for the back of her head, and we could just, um, so, so that you don't see this, I thought we could just cover it up. I could use one of these poker chips, but I think I really kind of just like using the bottle cap idea. This one has a giant eyeball on the back, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, and I do have also some fibers. Actually, I have this crocheted rose that I made. What would that look like with her face stuffed in there? Oh, well, that's actually kind of cute. You know, it's starting to remind me of Maridel Abrams' um, studio mascot. I wonder if that makes it too big, though. I kind of like it, though. Mary, I'm sorry if I'm stealing your mascot. It's not intentional. <laughs> I was initially thinking we would grab some of this. Which I don't know, I kind of like that rose better. Alright, so if we stuck her in there. Now this polymer clay thing has holes in it, but I bet you this wire is too thick for the holes. Yeah, it is. Which is okay because if we do this, I might not need that bottle cap. And then we could run this back down. Cut the little crazy end off. these strings off. I could still put the eyeball in the back of her head like she can, you know, like when you tell your kids that, you know, mommy's got eye, eyes in the back of her head. I actually kind of like that idea. And then put her on this side. Actually, kind of like that idea. And these have positive affirmations, sort of little symbols on them. One has an elephant, one has a tree of life. Um, one has a feather.
for me, those are all positive things, positive symbols. And I could just hang them off of her flower. And I could collect more of them as the year goes by and, and hang them off. I kind of, I like that idea. <laughs> it didn't want to come off. This one is from Alaska, from our trip to Alaska, which I loved. That was so much fun. Yeah, I would love to go back. And then this one has the Tree of Life on it. I found these when I was cleaning up some stuff recently. Forgot I had them, you know. There we go. So I like that, and they would hang off of her. I really like that. And then she would go in here. Yep. So let's get this glued up. I'm going to use some E6000. Oops. After I pop it open. There we go. I'm using E6000 because it's a good general purpose epoxy adhesive and it'll glue anything to anything. And you've got a mixture of porous and non-porous surfaces here. Um, so it's really good for that. I like the idea of her having an eyeball on the back of her head. I have no plan for this. I'm totally winging it. When I turned on the camera, I knew I had to make a mascot, but that was all I knew. Didn't know for sure what I was going to do other than I knew I wanted to get one of these uh, molded faces out of that drawer and use it. Pull that parts of the crocheted feather out around her face. Oh, I like that. Oh, that is cute. She's going to be adorable when she's dry. Okay, so while she's drying, we're going to work on our doorknob. And let's see what we can do with the actual doorknob. So the one thing I want is I still want this probably behind her head because I do still want the um, option of putting a tall tag in there um, or a bookmark or something where you can see a piece of paper where you'll be able to see a quote or pos positive affirmation word above her head. Um, and I'll show you guys what I mean um, when she's all done and put together. But we need to, we can't just have the doorknob look like, that doesn't look nice. So. We're going to decorate the doorknob. I've got options. I have this drawer of weird weirdness, weird hardware, weird salvage. Some of it is sewing machine parts. Some of it is just random otherness. I don't know what this little brass thing is from, but it's in this drawer. I just need to leave enough room to stick her head in. Need the pliers. Where did the pliers go? Okay. So I like that, and you can we can stick some glue in there and really stick it on pretty well. doesn't go all the way around though. So let's find something we can stick in the front. I've got this drawer little full of little metal, uh, metal. What are these? Uh, aye, aye, aye. Wood, <laughs> wood things. I have this drawer of wood things. You know, I was looking in another drawer and I found something right away. So this is a copper pipe fitting piece. And I um, aged it and distressed it with some ammonia and vinegar. And you know what? It fits right on there. And her, the sides stick out sort of like little arms. I love that. So let's get that on there. Again, we are going to glue these on with um, E6000. I'm going to shove some in here between this brass piece and the doorknob. And then just kind of wiggle this around. And then we're going to take this other piece and I'm going to put some on the inside. And like with the flower around her head, I could 
at some point over the year dangle more charms off of these little end pieces. I could even do it now, so we're going to see what happens with that. I love that idea very much. How fun was that? A happy accident. Okay, I have another drawer, of course I do, is what you're going to say, <laughs> of tassels and charms. Because, you know, of course I do. <coughs> and, yeah, I think I want to hang a couple of these off of the side as little charms. Let's see. We have two of the same color, maybe. Maybe not. What if we did two different colors? Would that look weird if she had different color dots? You guys are going to answer me, right? <laughs> oh, how about that color instead? I like that color. And I want to use one of these. Got all this fun stuff in here. Ooh, here's a dream catcher so she can catch my dreams and hold them for me. <gasps> that, I like the symbolism behind that. Um, I love that a lot. Okay. One of the things I do periodically when I'm out shop out and about and shopping at the craft stores is I take a look at the clearance jewelry aisle and see what these kind of little things like this that they have um, just laying around um, on the clearance aisle that I can get pretty inexpensively and I pick them up there. Oh, that one already has, how come that one already has a clip on it? <laughs> I like the idea that that one already has a clip on it. something else but it's got a clip on it. I might have to steal those clips because I don't want to do any more digging. <laughs> All right I kind of let's get those clips off there. I'm going to steal these two clips. Flyers. Okay this is going to be fun because I don't have my reading glasses on but let's get these clips off and put this tassel in the drawer and do I want it? Yeah, I think I want to try. I'll see if this clip fits. I guess I should see if the clip fits before I put the tassel on it, but uh, it's too late. <laughs> Oops. Going to. Yep, yep, it fits. Oh, that's cute. All right, let's get the tassel off of this one. I mean the clip. So use what you have. You notice I am not buying anything. I had all this stuff. I've had it for a long time. I'm using what I have. I want you all to do the same. I want you to think of the things that you have in your stash that um, give you a good feeling. Don't think about it too much. I think I'm going to just put it on here. Now, as far as the head is concerned, let's see. We want to kind of jam her in there, and then we want to stick a bunch of glue in there. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to put a bunch of glue on all of these wires. And I know one of you is going to ask why, probably why I have such little bottles of E6000. Because while I do use it and I love the glue, every time I buy a big giant tube, I never use it all before the thing goes, gets all dried out and, 
and hard to get out of the tube. So I find it's easier to just get the little tubes that are more cost effective. Okay. I found this piece of an old spoon that's been turned into a wall hook. We're not going to use it for that. It's just, again, it's just a random piece of hardware. And uh, it'll, it's perfect. I'm going to shove it down in there. And then we're going to let all that glue dry. And as soon as it's dry enough to tilt her, I'll show you guys what she looks like. She's super cute. I'll be, I'll be right back. All right, guys. This week's prompt was mascot and... I really want to see what you guys can do with this. If you aren't wanting to make a mascot, maybe you had a school mascot that you want to do an art journal page on. Maybe you have a mascot in life or a spirit animal you want to do your page on. Whatever it may be, don't be afraid to take the prompts and think outside the box that we've taken it to and do your own thing. We are very excited to see what you come up with. Anne and Cindy um, will be creating their own unique mascots and I can't wait to see what they do. Um, although we have the same prompt and maybe sometimes the same ideas, believe me, we have three different, completely different kinds of style. Um, so you're going to see three completely different kinds of things. Um, and occasionally our other um, teachers and helpers, Lisa and Ian, are going to be contributing too. So I look forward as the year progresses to seeing what they come up with. So my studio mascot is done. And I'm going to just zoom you in here a little bit. She's not dr dry yet. She's still drying. I moved her little charms around. I love that there's room all around her face to add more as the year goes on. She's got little tassels for arms. I did add a little cap here to the bottom of the uh, doorknob to just hold her up straight and steady. Um, she was a little bit wobbly without it and this is from my niece Megan and her wife's wedding, Megan and Tiffany. So it has good mojo too. And then of course I added a tag to start the year off, Dreamer of Dreams. I love that. If you want uh, any list of materials used, um, better pictures, uh, anything like that, you need to be part of the Facebook group, My Creative Year. The link for that is in the video description here below. And um, it, we hope you join us there. It's a lot of fun, full of art ideas, inspiration, camaraderie, and more. So please check it out. And uh, above all else, go out and have a great day. Don't forget to think about making your own studio mascot to start off the year. And I hope that uh, you all have a great one. Uh, go out and do something nice for yourself because you d deserve it, like make a mascot. And that's it. I will see you later. Bye, guys.